During the Cold War, the British government constructed a number of military citadels underground central London. The structure is shrouded in secrecy, so no one really knows how many tunnels exist. But what we do know is that they were built to be used in the event of World War III. One of the most important citadels is Pindar, which would serve as a crisis management and communications centre in the event of an emergency. Nuclear bunkers are also a big part of the structure for obvious reasons. Only one citadel is open to the public, the Cabinet's War Room, which was used as Winston Churchill's personal hangout during the war. Any attempt to explore the other tunnels could see you arrested, or maybe even killed. Some believe the tunnels to be used by MI5, but realistically anything could be down there. Swiss Fort Knox is a high-security data center located underneath a mountain in the Swiss Alps. If you could get inside the vaults, you would gain access to some of the most valuable information in the world. But you can't. The individual data centers are guarded by bulletproof plastics and blastproof vault doors. The same vault doors used in Swiss banks, which make full use of facial recognition technology. Over the past 15 years, exclusive security technology has been developed for this site alone. What's more is that the center is hidden deep within a Cold War nuclear bunker. Inside the Federal Reserve Bank of New York is the world's biggest stash of gold bullion. Deep below the streets of Manhattan is the famously impenetrable vault that contains an estimated 25% of the world's gold, which has a value of over $200 billion. The vault is protected by a 140-ton steel and concrete frame, making it both airtight and watertight. The site is reportedly guarded by both armed police and a team of robots. So just to recap, it's an underground vault full of gold guarded by robots, and that is the greatest thing I've ever described. Kongala Pass is a disputed mountain pass between India and China. Both countries claim the land, but as part of an agreement, neither country officially occupies it. Being one of the most restricted areas on Earth, no one is ever granted entry to the pass. But local people on both the Indian and Chinese sides of the border regularly report UFO sightings coming from the area. Specific descriptions of a triangular UFO soaring into the sky has led the local population to believe that there is an underground UFO base on the site. And some even believe it to be the result of a joint effort between Chinese and Indian governments to create a futuristic superweapon. The Cheyenne Mountain Complex is a military facility in Colorado. It is essentially a small city built into a mountain. In the event of a nuclear war, it would serve as a home and command center for important military personnel. From here, they would take on the task of defending North America from an inspecific and sinister nuclear-capable enemy. It is currently security level 1, which makes the facility more heavily guarded than the Pentagon. Mecca is regarded as the most holy city in the Muslim world, and the most sacred place in the city is the site of the Kaaba. The Kaaba is a cuboid-shaped building. It is the single object Muslims turn towards when they pray. Inside the Kaaba you would find fine marble floors and walls. You would see ancient lanterns hanging from the ceiling, and the whole building is built around a meteorite that fell from the sky thousands of years ago. But if you want to go inside it, you will need an invitation. The only problem is just a small number of foreign dignitaries get invited each year. I have always wanted to go inside the Kaaba, but as a non-Muslim, I'm not even allowed in the city. Gold Base is the international headquarters of the Church of Scientology. Notoriously secretive, only a select few high-ranking Scientologists are ever allowed to enter. It's basically a village. They believe the founder of their religion will one day be reincarnated and return to this village. The site is heavily guarded by motion detectors, as well as regular patrols, and high fences with blades sticking out of it. It is widely suspected 
that the occupants are being held against their will. The place is allegedly a labor camp where people are forced to work long hours. According to the media, around 100 people attempt to escape from the base each year. And most fail. And when I think about it, this isn't exactly a place I would want to visit, so maybe I won't include this one in the video. The Korean Demilitarized Zone is a strip of land in between North and South Korea. You will never be allowed to enter the zone. It is guarded on one side by the North Koreans and on the other side by the South Koreans. The armed guards are instructed to shoot anyone they judge to be a threat, so it's certainly not a good place for streaking. I mean, it's certainly not a good place for anything, as the whole area is covered in landmines. Varasha is a ghost town in northern Cyprus. It is the most secret site in the Mediterranean. With miles of abandoned beaches and corroding deserted hotels, the site is completely devoid of human life. The Turkish military took control of the town when they invaded Cyprus in 1974. Ever since then, entry to the town has been prohibited. I do want to visit Varisha, because I really go for the post-apocalyptic nightmare look. Skinwalker Ranch is a privately owned property in Utah. It is supposedly the site of both paranormal activity and alien encounters. Hundreds of people have reported sightings of UFOs, crop circles, Bigfoot-like creatures, glowing orbs in the air, and ghostly visions of dead people all coming from Skinwalker Ranch. The ranch is built on lands that Native Americans have long fabled to be haunted. The property is owned by Robert Bigelow, a multi-millionaire who only allows a small number of people to ever enter the site. He is an aerospace entrepreneur, and people claim that he only purchased the site with the specific aim of studying the mysterious happenings. And so that brings us to the end of the list on 10 secret places you can never visit. These videos take a lot of time to produce, so if you want to help me out, maybe like, subscribe, and comment, as it really helps them reach more people.